the transform functions inside logic allow you to manipulate and edit um, very quickly large sections of MIDI and there's some really nice little things in here to speed up uh, speed up MIDI sort of tasks really if you like so to access the transform options if you double click on a, a MIDI region and it will open up into the piano roll and there we can see the notes that you have programs you can see your notes and you can open up the controller lane if you want um, by clicking on hyperdraw uh, I call it the controller lane and they call it the hyperdraw lane in logic it's the same thing um, there we go there's all my individual notes it's quite nice to sort of see the velocities as well and we can uh, see how transform can manipulate and edit those as well so um, I'm going to First of all, just show you where to access transform functions from. If you click on the function drop down menu and choose the transform options, and you'll see a whole list of cool, useful little things. Fixed velocity, if we want to set the volumes of individual notes to all be the same. Randomized pitch, which can be kind of cool if you're stuck on trying to work out a melody or create something new, you can just get logic to generate a randomized. Uh, pitches for you of notes and create strange and weird melodies uh, for example you can randomize velocities if you want to make something a bit more human and less mechanical and less rigid you can uh, loosen humanize the sound so it's no longer rigidly quantized whole loads of different sort of things so if we just sort of demonstrate some of those in practice um, i'm going to select uh, all of the c note here within my melody That's the piano line I have, but I'm just going to work on uh, just these C notes um, in the actual, in that piano part. So we're going to go to functions and to transform, and I'll click on the first one, fixed velocity, and we'll have a look at this. When you click on a transform option, the transform bar uh, window appears, and it gives you various kind of options and things. Um, if you just want to kind of get it operating very, very quickly, uh, just sort of look down here at the values. This is telling me that it's, it's going to fix the velocities of the notes that I have selected. And it's going to fix them to a MIDI value number of 100. If I wanted to maximize the volume, obviously MIDI goes up to 127. So I'll maximize it and I'm going to hit operate only. That means it's just going to operate on my selected notes that I have. Um, I could hit select and operate, and in which case it will select all of the notes in the region and apply this to all of them. I want to just do it to the C's though. So when we hit operate only, and there we go, you can see there on the window behind it's fixed every single note, um, every C note to 127. <laughs> Making a very prominent C. Uh, I'm just going to undo that function, um, command and Z, and have a look at a few others while we're here. Um, randomized pitch, well... Here we go. If we apply a randomized pitch from, let's say, C1 to C2, I'll just write this in. I'm probably a bit quicker than scrolling through. And I'm going to operate only. There we go. And you can see what it's done is it's destroyed my lovely regular C pattern and it randomized the pitch all over the place, which is probably not going to sound too great. Let's have a listen. Not particularly fantastic because it's not in the uh, the blues scale that the, the track has been played in, so it sounds uh, pretty nasty. But in some cases, if you just want to create some weird sounds, that can be quite fun, the randomized pitch function. Uh, creating crescendos, that's um, that's a good one, uh, especially doing things like snare rolls, drum fills, they gradually go da 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 and get louder and louder and louder. Um, you could obviously sort of draw your velocity changes in, but a kind of quicker way of doing it is just selecting those notes and hitting crescendo, and you want it to go from nothing to 127. That's like quiet, uh, quietest sort of level up to the to the loudest. Hit operate only. We can see there it's applied a crescendo to my C notes, gradually getting louder as the piece goes on. Okay, 
So obviously not the greatest example here um, of, of when to use that, but certainly on a on a snare roll or something that would sound uh, that would sound very nice. Okay, Get rid of that. Um, what other things do we have in here that are useful? Humanizing, yeah, I use humanizing um, a lot, especially if I've sort of programmed rigidly, sort of quantizing um, notes as I've been programming. Um, selecting kind of all of your your notes that you have and then humanizing them a little bit will randomize the velocity and it will randomize the um, quantization value as well. It's very subtle but it just makes something sound a bit more lifelike, a bit more human, hence the, hence the name. Um, you can uh, transpose, again, pretty useful if you quickly want to transpose uh, bits of MIDI um, information up or down. We transpose, you want to transpose this up from the C, ma uh, C major that it's in to uh, D. Obviously C, it's got uh, two notes to the D, and operate, and that's it. take it back down, I'll have to select minus two and drop it back down to where it should be. Um, we have uh, exponential velocity which is again as in similar uh, similar to um, a crescendo really, uh, gradually increasing the uh, the volume of your um, of your notes. Uh, fixed note length which is really handy um, I've already performed that particular transform on these notes that's why you'll notice all the notes are the same exactly the same length um, but zoom in a little bit and we can sort of change that perhaps um, if I go to uh, fixed note length let's make it um, even smaller Go. So now it's uh, changed it um, again, but fixed all the notes to a certain value. If you want them to be like one beat long, uh, then if you get rid of whatever it has there and go back a space and type in one, um, and it will make all of your notes exactly one beat. Again, you know, we could randomize um, note lengths as well if we wanted to uh, between sort of, um, well, let's go between sort of 60 and slightly longer, two beats. Okay. We've now randomized it, made it a bit more human like, I suppose. Um, you don't sort of play that rigidly when you're playing the piano. So that's actually editing this transform um, option. Uh, you've got various uh, editing functions that you can manipulate um, to kind of go beyond the scope, really, of uh, what you do on an A level in music tech. Uh, okay, um, quantizing as well. That's another one uh, which we look at in the quantization tutorial. But uh, again, it's just another way of uh, quantizing, forcing your note length to to zip to like the nearest B or whichever uh, quantization value you, you specify. And, uh, and that's it, that's the transform um, options and how you can use them to uh, massively and dramatically improve articulation and phrasing of, of MIDI data.